so guys i'm using turkey till for this recipe you can use any poultry of your choice or any meat of your choice and it's beautifully washed and clean add it to your saucepan to that i'm going to add in this grinded onion mix which is onion ginger chili pepper habanero pepper garlic and some water add it to the turkey Add in one shrimp cube and salt. I'm using my pressure cook for this recipe. You know, it saves time a lot. So anytime I have to cook um, meat, turkey, chicken, whatever, that is very hard, that it takes time to cook. I normally use my pressure cooker to cook it. It saves time and it's more faster. So I'm giving it a stir, let it cook for 5 minutes and then I'll taste if the salt and everything is okay before I close it and then I'll let it cook for 30 minutes. But if you are using a normal pot, you can check from time to time and then um, cook it until it's almost tender. Add in just a little bit of water. Close it and let it cook for 30 minutes. The turkey is ready, let's go ahead and fry it. In a hot saucepan, add in vegetable oil. I'm using vegetable oil, but you can use any oil of your choice. We're going to fry this for about 10 minutes. Fry the turkey more or less 10 minutes. Don't over fry it. The turkey itself is already tender, so you do not want it to be more hard. If not, it will become hard to chew and you know, we are, it does garry for top and you need something soft to enjoy with it. As soon as it turns slightly brown like this, remove it from the oil and we start with the stew. Strain the oil and add it to your saucepan. It's more or less 5 minutes. Add in the tomato spray. And the stock from the turkey. We're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes or until the tomatoes is cooked and you see oil has begun to form on top. Give it a stir and check from time to time. It's almost 15 minutes and the stew is halfway cooked. Make sure you cook it until you don't see any sign of liquid, any sign of water in the tomato sauce. Stir it and let it cook from 10 to 15 minutes more. The stew is almost ready. At this point, add in your seasoning. I'm using Sankofa seasoning. You know, it's mixed with everything. White pepper. And some curry. Stir it and add in the turkey. And the vegetables, I'm using cabbage, carrots, yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper, red onion, and white onion. Add it to the stew. At this point, you can check if the salt is for your liking. Don't overcook the veggies. As soon as you put it inside, let it cook for five minutes more and it's ready. You still want some crunchiness from the veggies. So lower the gas and let it cook for five minutes more. In the meantime, let's go ahead and mix the garlic. 
that's about 700 grams of curry to that I'm going to add in about 100 grams of water don't make it too wet they think the water is too much add in more curry so you're looking for something like a breadcrumbs consistency so guys this is what you're looking for It's wet, but you still feel the crunchiness. Add it to the stew. Wow. This guy photo here. And yet the papa. So guys, the guy photo is ready. As you can see, it's so, so delicious. Let's see. So guys, I'm done here. Thanks for watching. If you like this recipe, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave suggestions. Comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.